Well, he's his character, his personality, you know, he's just a uh, desire to, to win and uh, the experience that he has. Obviously, he's, a, you know, he's been through this situation many times and he's, you know, he's hit many big shots, so you know, he's in him. Kobe said Fish is the only guy he'll listen to. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that relationship, what you see? I mean, obviously, they play together for how long? I don't know, 12 years, 12 years. Yeah. Uh, so that's, that's a long run. And, uh, that would build a lot of trust and confidence among two players. Yeah, sometimes it's gonna, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if one game all three of those guys get hot. And you know, you still have to try to find a way to win. You know, and that's the most important for us right now, is just finding a way to, to win ball games. Well, Mark, we talked about it night. earlier this series, just uh, how much you enjoy the challenge. How, how much did you enjoy coming in here last night and doing what you guys did? It was fun. You know, it was a lot of fun. I mean, you do a dream of it as a kid, play for the Lakers, playing against Boston, NBA Finals. Um, you know, even before the game was over, even before you know, we won the game, it was still fun. You know, this is what you dreamed about as a kid, you're in the backyard, five, four, three, <laughs> two, one, oh, you miss it, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. you make it, you're running around, <laughs> like, you know, this is this is what you dream about, and, what and you? at the end of the day, it's a game, mm -hmm. you know, it's fun, like, just to capture that moment of, of it being a game. And what do you expect from them tomorrow now? I expect to fight. As much fun as you mentioned it being, at the end of the game when Derek has that emotional reaction to what happened, what did you make of that? Hmm. I mean, there's so much to make of, make of that. I mean, you know, every man on that court has his own uh, story right, of tragedy, triumph. To get to this level, and, you know, you have to persevere. Um, you know, I remember at the beginning of the year, Derek was being criticized a lot, you know, for you know, not making shots or doing slump or being uh, older, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, which he didn't deserve. And so, to be able to come through in that, in that moment, um, you know, to be so clutch, like he's been so many times before, you know, he's been through so much this year that uh, I was, I couldn't be happier, you know, for a person. Like, he deserves it. He, I mean, he works extremely hard. He's in incredible shape all the time. Uh, he doesn't miss games. I, I told him to that. I told his, his, his friend Duran. I, you know, I learned so much from him. You know, when he speaks and when he doesn't speak, the way he carries himself. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's uh, a man. Sounds like you. Uh, did you talk to him about it after? Did anybody say anything to him? I gave him a hug. Didn't you know, in, 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 uh, in the locker room. And I, at that time, I think that's all that needed to be said. Mm -hmm. Do you guys ever start to find it comical after a while? I mean, you hear this criticism, and every year in the playoffs, Fisher kind of shuts us all up. All right, it's funny. You know, in sports, we always talk about, like, you're as good as your last game. You know. And um, at, at this time of year, Derek just kind of I always make fun because I always make fun of him because it seems like when the defender's closing out on him, like his arm just gets a little straighter. And he, <laughs> he like just finds a way to, to get the ball up and, and leave it up there. I mean, he's just clutch, you know. He's, he's prepared um, just to take the shot. Forget about it if it goes in or not. You know, he's prepared himself to be in that position. And uh, you can look up to that. So the main thing is to play team ball. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to do outside of play team ball. You know, um, learned a lot. My first um, finals and you know, just you know, 
I played better yesterday than I did in the previous game because, you know, I stayed within the team. And, you know, if that means just having two points for a whole game, that's what that means. I'm totally fine with that. You said that you learned a lot. What, what do you feel like you've been learning now for you? Well, Fisher and Kobe is just taking me on a ride and they're taking me to school, you know, and they're giving me a lesson every day. So I get to, you know, that's where I had most, when I had most of my good games after I had bad games, you know, so far in this playoffs, you know, individually, which I don't even care about at all. What's the but, most, what's the most important thing that you learned for Kobe? What's the most important thing you learned from Fisher? Just stay locked in, you know, stay locked in and, you know, it's always like another day, and then that's why I had so many ups and downs because I stayed locked in rather than having a bunch of down days. I had some days where I really helped offensively in key games, you know, some closeout games, some key games before the closeout games. So that's why I'm always just, you know, just steady, stay steady, and things happen. Is it know? easy for you to stay yeah. focused? Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, um, you know, when you're playing together, you know, we got so many scores on the team, so when you're playing together and it's working, it's working. You don't want to, um, you know, fix something that's not broke. You know, you don't want to fix something that's not broke. So when the team is fixed already, there's no, no need to try to do anything extra. What's the game plan against Pierce? Any grades at all? Huh? With, uh, with them teaching you? Have they given you any grades yet? Kobe or Pitt? Not necessarily. Not yeah. necessarily. What not necessarily what's the game plan against Pierce? Uh, and what's working the best for you so far? Yeah, exactly. Throughout the season, have you seen close games like yesterday like, help bring the team closer together? Yeah, and, and, and then, you know, when we watch the film of it uh, later today, we're really going to come together because we'll see how it looks when we are up 14 and allow a team to stop us for a you know, lengthy period of time and really, really allow a team to get back into the game. When all we have to do is, is sit down and, and run our offense and, and uh, play isolation basketball. What exactly what is